Yawning is a widespread behavior, yet it is pretty mysterious. It is also quite contagious. One yawns and the others in the group invariably follow. Watch a group of lions yawn and it may seem like nothing more than big lazy cats acting sleepy. But new research suggests that these yawns may be subtly communicating some critical social issues. I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science has to offer, from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. And this week, we look at how yawning helps lions communicate and synchronize movements of their entire pride. Sputnik's entry into India and Ahar Kranti's mission for India. Moving on to story one. Dance to the yawn. As per a report on the science behind yawning among lions in the journal Animal Behavior, according to a study in Italy, and it was noticed that lions yawn quite frequently, concentrating these yawns on short periods. Yawning is constantly seen in all vertebrates. Why does it occur? Is your question. Well, scientists think it could be boosting the blood flow to the skull, cooling the brain and aiding alertness, especially when transitioning in and out of rest. Fish and reptiles will yawn, but more social vertebrates such as birds and mammals appear to have adopted the behavior to purposes conducive to group living. In many species, like humans, monkeys and even parakeets, yawners can infect onlookers with a yawn contagion, leading onlookers to yawn shortly afterwards. Not only is yawning contagious about lions, but it appears to help the predators synchronize their movements. So a team of researchers monitored some lions, and the team found that lions that saw another member of the pride yawn were about 139 times as likely to yawn themselves within the next three minutes. But wait for it. Wait for it and wait for it. The yawn contagion did not stop there. Lions that caught a yawn from another lion were found to be 11 times as likely to mirror the movements of the original yawner than those that had not. This is crucial behavior for an animal that hunts and rears offspring cooperatively as the spreading of yawning across the group via contagion could enhance overall collective vigilance. Finally, researchers have found out that yawning signals a shift between different physiological or emotional states. So a yawn could be a good way for an individual in a social species to communicate to the group mates that it is experiencing some kind of internal change. At the same time, by studying yawning and subsequent movements, we can unravel so many mysteries about the behavior patterns of many animal species. Moving on to story number two. India recently authorized Russia's Sputnik V vaccine for restricted emergency use. With this, India has become the 60th country to approve Russia's COVID-19 vaccine. According to reports, India will receive these jabs by May and by June, Dr. Reddy's and five other local companies, Glad Pharma, Hitero Biopharma, Panacea Biotech, Stealth Biopharma, Virchow Biotech will begin manufacturing Sputnik V. This comes after Russia's sovereign wealth fund, RDIF's Russian Direct Investment Fund, partnered with these pharma companies. And reports suggest that the goal is to produce 850 million doses annually in India. Dr. Reddy's wrapped up the phase three trials in March, according to reports around 1,500 participants were a part of the trials. And according to reports, results should be out sometime in April. Now we will tell you everything you need to know about Sputnik V. The vaccine gets its name from Sputnik, the first artificial satellite to have reached the low earth orbit. The V in Sputnik is the letter V and not the Roman numeral 5. Moscow's Gamaliya National Research Institute of Epidemiology and Microbiology developed the vaccine. Russia approved it in August 2020. 
Sputnik V is a two dose vaccine. It is created using viral vectors, a method that is also used to make AstraZeneca's Covishield. The viral vector used here is adenovirus, which commonly causes fever, cough, sore throat, diarrhea, and pink eye. However, in this case, scientists weaken the virus by removing the virus ability to cause any harm to the body. Think of adenovirus as a vehicle that carries the spike protein of the novel coronavirus into the body. As you might know, the spike protein activates our immune system and once injected, the vaccine trains the immune system to fight up the virus attacks in the future. Sputnik needs to be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, making it easier to transport to remote regions. And now for the next story. Well. The well-being of our society depends on quality nutrition that is being delivered. Studies show that India produces as much as two times the amount of calories that it consumes. However, many in the country are still malnourished. Why, you may ask? The root cause of this strange phenomena is a lack of nutritional awareness. Keeping this in mind, Ahar Kranti has been launched with the motto of Uttam Ahar, Uttam Vichar, a good diet good cognition. The mission will seek to renew the focus on nutritionally balanced diets, focusing on locally sourced fruits and vegetables. It will also address the pressing problem of hunger and diseases faced by India and the world. Launching the initiative on April 13, 2021, Health Minister Dr. Harshwardhan said, and I quote, when the country is reeling under the onslaught of the pandemic, COVID-19, a balanced diet serves as a unique tool to reduce the pandemic's impact. He stressed the need to create awareness about the importance of a balanced diet, saying it has become more vital than before, unquote. The movement proposes to address the problem by popularizing the values and the richness of India's traditional diet, the healing powers of our local fruits and vegetables, and the miracles of a balanced diet. Vigyana Bharati, Global Indian Scientists and Technocrats Forum, Vigyan Prasar and Pravasi Bharati Academic and Scientific Sampark have launched the mission. Ahar Kranti is in line with the UN Sustainable Goal Number 3, which emphasizes human well-being. And on this occasion, a monthly English and Hindi newsletter, Ahar Kranti, has also been launched, which is being published by Vigyan Prasar. That's all we have for you in this edition of Science Time. I will see you again with some more interesting facts next week. Until then, stay safe, mask up, namaskar. <laughs>